Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hopefully, you guys have a good week going on. Um, early week for me. You guys know Friday I'll be at the Monster up in Indy. And then Saturday's set up in Newburgh. So if you're at the Monster Friday, come say hello. Find me. You'll find me in the value boxes. Digging, digging, digging. All right. Again, disclaimer, because I had a hate email message come in to me. I'm not dogging any grading company here. <laughs> I put it out again. I guess uh, somebody might have had one too many drinks. And they did not get that part of my whole video of me saying it twice. But, no digs. This talks about crossover. It's not always beneficial to cross over your cards. Here you have an HGA Zion Williamson. Now, these aren't serial number to my knowledge. But, again... Somebody bought an HGA 9.5, went to cross it over, came back PSA 6. Huh. Without being serial number, you really can't say yay or nay unless you know the person. I got a type deal. My biggest thing is, if you already have it in a 9.5, I got it. If you're not a fan of HGA, I don't use them. I use three companies. That's it. Um, you're going to probably take a hit trying to cross stuff over. Now, from what I've heard, now from three people that have graded with HGA and have cracked out their stuff, all everybody has gotten lower grades, no matter where they sent them at. Beckett, even an SGC, um, PSA across the board. I was told now by multiple people that when HGA puts the card into the holder, it could be getting damaged by compression and all this other stuff. That, that you know how it's like Panini and Topps cards aren't like when you think 130s, 120s, so how sometimes it doesn't sit well in one touches and stuff like that there. They were explaining it to me. I'm not a subject matter expert on to it because I don't use HGA. But they're saying that could be where the card was a 9.5 gem mid going in. But because of the way they're bonding the slabs and the pressure and all this other stuff, it could do that to it. It could be damaged coming out. And that's something you're risking no matter what company you're cracking out of. You're risking when you're cracking that out that you could damage that card. Surface, edges, corners, whatever it may be. And then getting it regraded. I... Have only regraded stuff because it came back. And this is me. Not telling you to go do it. Like I got a PSA 8. I will say thick stock NT card. I'm like dang this sucks. Reality. Yeah I was hoping for a 9 onto it. Whatever it may be. Back when it was cheaper. I would take that card out. Set it over to Beckett. Hopefully get like a BGS 9 out of it. Because pricing was different. Grading was cheaper. Now you got to be really really careful. I mean it's like pretty much. If you send it in and it gets a grade you like, just leave it alone. If you're going to keep trying to pop them out and they're coming back lower, you're probably having some damage along the way. I know some people say PSA, harder, greater, all that stuff. It don't matter across the board. My point is when you're doing the crossovers from any grading company to another, you have to be very careful cracking this stuff. I've watched some people trying to open these things up with pliers and all this stuff. And they're yanking and cracking. I'm like, oh, bending card. Oh, I hope it don't snap in the middle type deal. Be very careful if you're doing this stuff. Find somebody that's been doing it for a while to show you how to get it out properly and better than what some people are doing on there showing for... YouTube view clicks out there because I look at it going, oh my gosh, how did you not damage that card? But again, no dig against any of the grading companies out there. Everybody does their own thing. I mean, I seen a video on, I cannot remember what the company was. It was in Louisville like two months ago to show game something it was. And they grade their own cards, and somebody cracked them out, some to various people, and everyone very, very much lower. Again, grading is subjective, but when I would even say I looked at some of them that were up there, I didn't think they deserved the grades they were, but that was my own opinion. You know, that was my own opinion across the board on to it. Some people just want to get their stuff in highest grade, I got it. 
And when they open their own companies, you know, I've heard some people float higher grades out there so that way it draws the attention of stuff. I, I don't know. It could be possible. It looks that way, but until facts show that it's true, you can't really say much on or somebody comes out there and works there and willing to put everything on the line onto it. But again, if you're crossing stuff over, be careful opening that stuff up because I think that's where a lot of this damage is coming from onto the cards because it's really hard to go from like a 9.5 to a 6 or 7. There's some damage done. From the time that that card was originally graded until you sent it to the next grading company, it got damaged somewhere. It's the only way I could see it. All right, guys, appreciate y'all watching the video. Let me know what you guys think. If you're an HGA uh, person that grades, I want to know, like, whenever you're cracking, if you ever cracked it out to resubmit or send it to somewhere else, is your stuff getting lower? Because they were trying to explain to me, I never cracked an HGA slab, so I don't know and I don't have any, but something to do with the compression onto it. I'm trying to get a better understanding. It makes sense when they tell it to me, but when I'm trying to explain it, it's not really like perfectly coming out. All right, guys, take care. Have a good one. See y'all next video.